hi friends as you know uh, in chemistry there are two types of uh, amino acids that is aliphatic amino acids and aromatic amino acids two major, major type of amino acids uh, and uh, we should be confirm about its uh, uh, properties that uh, aromatic amino acids uh, amino acids have a aromatic ring and aliphatic amino acids don't have such rings uh, aromatic means uh, aroma that is smell and uh, we get uh, a different a kind of uh, smell from that uh, type of amino acids acids and in aliphatic amino acids we, we can say that there is a side chain that is here you can see that is the side chain it is not an aromatic ring aromatic means this is the aromatic ring we can say okay <coughs> this is uh, this is a benzene we can say uh, this, this is the, an aromatic ring as we all know uh, it is uh, uh, an aromatic group and uh, if it, this group is attached to this uh, this uh, side chain then uh, it, it is it, it can be called as aromatic amino acids uh, as uh, the basic property you can see alo aliphatic amino acids uh, don't uh, uh, burn with flame or they, they don't give you smoke after burning and uh, aliphatic amino acids most uh, mostly they are polar in non polar they are non polar and hydrophobic that is uh, they don't uh, easily get mixed with water and non polar means also uh, that also uh, they don't give you polar charges that positive and negative charges so eventually they uh, don't mix with water like ghee oil we can see they, they we can say they are all aliphatic amino acids but now we, we should go towards aromatic amino acids aromatic amino acids have a side chain that is uh, this, this type of aromatic ring is there and uh, this they would this should have a uh, pleasant odor uh, fructy smell they give they give a fructy smell smell yeah, there is a smell uh, in aromatic amino acids and uh, uh, if we burn them they, uh, they burn with uh, a special flame and uh, um, a special smoke is uh, in effervescence we get a special smoke but uh, and uh, they are uh, generally they are um, some uh, non polar and some are polar uh, Nonpolar uh, and polar uh, that means uh, uh, they also have uh, uh, the ultimate character that is they are hydrophobic and uh, some are also hydrophilic uh, something like uh, we can say phenol uh, phenol is attached to any amino acid group that that can be mixed in water easily and uh, uh, some uh, like benzene or others uh, no attached to and if if the carbon chain increases if the carbon chain increases then their hydrophobicity also increases we can we cannot say that all the uh, aromatic uh, amines uh, get dissolved in water or they all are hydrophilic no they uh, some of them uh, get dissolved in water and, and also some of them get uh, distraction from water or, or they are called as hydrophobic and uh, yes uh, uh, I think uh, you got the major difference between aromatic amines and uh, uh, aliphatic amines thank you